Eastern Tennessee's obsession with energy production dates back nearly a century to the creation of the Tennessee Valley Authority. Situated at the crossroads of countless next-generation energy projects, along with the nearby Oak Ridge National Laboratory, this part of the Tennessee Valley has become a hotbed of innovation in the energy sector. Wampler's Farm Sausage Company, based in nearby Lenore City, is nothing if not innovative, says Ted Wampler Jr. A chub chiller with a 45-minute dwell time was modified into a human-machine interface that now runs at a 17-minute dwell. Wampler also salvaged a two-lane patty stacker from another company's boneyard. Since being modified with servo motors and additional lanes, Wampler says it's possibly the fastest in the industry. But to produce more than a million sausage patties a day uses a lot of energy. At any given time, Wampler's uses between 500 kilowatts and a megawatt of power. The company invested in an energy production process known as pyrolysis to produce hydrogen, which is converted to electricity. The cellulose to hydrogen power system, or CHIP system, will be the first commercial installation in the world. What we will have is actually semis that will act as silos on wheels that will be self-unloading. Those semis will unload into our auger feed system that will go into basically the mixing chamber. Down a gravel road from Wampler's facility is an unassuming red barn where the hydrogen power center will be located. Semis will unload switchgrass to be processed into about 600 metric tons of biochar annually. And inside those chambers they will adjust things like the moisture content of the feedstock or the cellulose, whatever you want to call it, at that point. From there, it will go into the chip system. Uh, my last knowledge is that we're probably going to be about 1,200 degrees centigrade in the chamber with no oxygen in the chamber. And so that's where we're going to get this very rich uh, hydrogen CO2 and CO, but mainly rich hydrogen gas stream out when we go to this next step over about this direction in this area is going to be where the uh, chip engines will be and then we'll pipe the gas out and the generators will be along the outside of this building uh, over in that far area over there that's where we will be um, bagging up biochar and this is some char actually from uh, hardwood trees out of Idaho, or evergreen trees out of Idaho, is where this char came from. And so that's the, that's the carving. And that, as a soil amendment, that's what this would be, a soil amendment. And so what we would do, we hope to bag the biochar and then sell it back to everything from wineries to nurseries to organic farms, anybody who is trying to do organic farming. The chip system will be housed next to the company's massive solar array consisting of more than 2200 panels. Capable of producing up to 5 megawatts of power, the chip system is scalable. Electricity can be produced for 3 cents to 7 cents per kilowatt hour, less than half of current electricity prices. Putting that carbon back into the earth uh, people are saying that it will last not just centuries, but actual millenniums, that it will be there for tens of thousands of years.